Hi there, it's Roy Breton here from A Countryman's View. Today on my thumbnail photograph I have Christians under attack with a question mark. Now this morning, um, first thing, I was just scrolling through Twitter and I came from came um, to an article that Dr. Jordan B. Peterson had, had um, shared and um, if you look here it says uh, it just put Canada and it says it's about a chap called Josh, Josh Alexander and it says today I was handcuffed and put in a paddy wagon for offering student Bibles on a public si sidewalk in Calgary I was released and told if I returned I would be arrested and charged I, I continued handling out Bibles for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ now I don't exactly know what the man was doing or the young lad but um, I do like the fact that he's not ashamed of the gospel and it just reminds me of uh, Canada certainly in, in the lockdowns I didn't you know Canada or Australia New Zealand they were they were pretty tough on their citizens regarding the lockdown and it seems like Canada is getting very tough with, um, with with Christians which is very sad and I do think it's an age that we're living in now when I clicked on this chap's profile if we click here it says student activist uh, save Canada Jesus saves now I don't, I don't know anything about him um, when we preach the gospel sometimes we have to use wisdom not sure what he's doing um, but I do like these potentially uh, making a stand here he's put um, TikTok gave me a strike for sh for shocking and graphic content it was a video of me being attacked yesterday so presumably this video and then um, further down Josh Alexander the chap we're talking about has been arrested and suspended for standing against the LGBT agenda now his parents who worked for a different school boards have also been suspended so it looks like he's trying to uh, let the truth out and I believe that we are um, in time and it's happening now that we we won't have the free speech that we've got free speech is kind of dying and here back in I think this was December uh, when was this can't, can't see it uh, I was I was updated um, 7th of March but I think it could have been last December where, where a, a Catholic woman uh, says please tell Catholic woman praying is an offence as she is arrested for second time for silently praying in an exclusion zone outside abortion clinic now, I know there's quite a few Christians praying outside abortion clinics for obvious reasons so once again I don't know the full story but it's certainly signs showing that um, uh, um, think things are happening and we're not getting the free speech you know normally people would be quite pleased that someone was praying I know with abortion clinics there's a bit of controversy but um, we know what the Bible says about that and uh, it also said that six police officers arrested her now normally if you need a police officer you can't get one but it seems on in cases like this they are readily available which brings me to the point of what the Bible says about all this and um, I was looking in Timothy and this um, some verses Timothy 1 sorry 2 Timothy 3 and it says but know this that in the last days perilous times will come for men will be lovers of themselves lovers of money boasters proud blasphemous disobedient to parents unthankful unholy unloving unforgiving slanderers <coughs> excuse me without self-control brutal brutal despisers of good traitors headstrong haughty lovers of pl pleasure rather than lovers of God having a form of godliness but denying its power and from such people turn away and it, it's kind of just a warning especially um, as I believe we're in living in end times or in the last days as it says in verse 1 but know this that the last days perilous times will come and it does seem like we're living very much in clown world we're not seeing common sense so here in Matthew 28 famous scripture it says and Jesus came it's talking about the Great Commission and Jesus came and spoke to them saying all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth go therefore and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you and lo I will always and I am with you always even to the end of the age amen so famous scripture and a reminder that we are supposed to go out there and um, spread the gospel to, to, to all nations and um, 
So we don't want to stop just because of what the authorities are saying. I'm not one for breaking the law, but uh, when it comes to the gospel, we need to stand firm and take our God-given authority because the reason they don't like us is there is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain and they don't like Christians having power and uh, they'd like to try and break us, but it's not going to happen. We're, we're going to keep going to the end. So then in 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 to 18, it says, Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. So the importance of praying without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. So we can never pray too much. And um, I think when we're hungry for the gospel, we're, um, you know, God is our first sort of, should be the first, first thing we run to. Um, it's easy to pick up the phone when we've got a problem but really we should run to Jesus and, and pray um, as he can help us and then finally uh, Philippians where are we four six to seven be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to God and the, and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and mind through Christ Jesus so we may have tough times but we need to be we don't need to be anxious for anything pray about pray for everything and be thankful and make our requests be known to God and um, and then it says, the peace of God will surpass all understanding, which is uh, amazing and a wonderful thing. So uh, stand firm and um, do what the Bible says. Go out and take the gospel to all nations because we, I, I don't want to see anyone going to hell. I've got you know, neighbours and things, lovely people, but some of them don't know the gospel. And um, many people I like very much, but they don't know the gospel. And I think it's important that they're told, in the, especially in these end days, we see what's happening. Uh, many things are ha happening and which don't, which don't seem very good. But we know that uh, Jesus is there and um, for those who know him, he's given us, given us a place in heaven. Now, maybe you're not a Christian and um, you'd like to be. I've got a prayer up here. And if you pray it and you really mean it, then it means you've, you've been born again and you've been given the gift of eternal life. So I'll, I will just read this prayer out. Dear Lord Jesus, I acknowledge you as Lord and Saviour of my life. I repent of all my sins and I ask you today to take over complete control of every aspect of my life. Amen. And like I said, if you prayed it and you meant it, it means you have been born again. And you can now walk freely knowing that God is with you and you, you have the gift of eternal life. Now, for any Christian, it's important we read the Word. I'm reading from Bible Gateway, great resource. There's many other resources on the internet and also apps that you can download. But it's important to read the Bible. There's um, here, there's um, read the Bible, different plans and so forth. It's also important to be part of a small group and to get in a good church. But just make sure that they are a solid church. They believe what the Bible says and they're not making any shortcuts. We won't. We don't want a gospel. We don't want a nice gospel. We want a gospel of truth, a gospel of power, and um, that's sound and um, follows the Bible 100%. If you've got any questions, I'm here to help. Thanks very much for watching.